Good morning and welcome to Freaky Friday. No, we're not having a remake of the movie that was late 80s, early 90s, whenever that was, but it is Freaky Friday because just like I had talked about uh, in the video on Monday and in my uh, posts on uh, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I would float, I mean, excuse me, I would lock, I would not float going into today. I, want, I recommended locking on Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday at the very latest, uh, but not to float unless you're a real gambler going into to this morning because of the employment report. And like we talked about, the employment report did not disappoint. What we found is that uh, the unemployment rate stayed the same. So we're at uh, still an uh, unemployment rate of 7.6%. However, the news that, that really kind of uh, sent the markets in a, in a tailspin was that the estimates were ended up being very low. So for instance, we have the uh, non-farm jobs came in at 195,000 where it was estimated at 165,000. Additionally, non-farm private jobs came in at 202,000 uh, and the estimate was 179,000. So both of those blew the estimates out of the water. April and May's uh, numbers were also increased, uh, May's by 20,000 um, over what they were initially reported and April's by 50,000, so those are pretty significant numbers even though the unemployment rate stays uh, relatively high at 7.6%. So nonetheless, uh, because of those great jobs numbers, uh, which is good for the economy overall, even though we'd like to see that unemployment uh, rate come down, the bad thing is, is that rates, the, the mortgage bond market, the Fannie Mae 3.5, is down 184 basis points as, as I uh, record this video for you, which means rates are up somewhere between three eighths and a half a percent, which is huge for the day. Um, on the stock market side of things, the stock market went up very, uh, very strongly at the beginning, but then as they started thinking about, you know, what these higher rates could mean for the economy and how it could impact it negatively. Uh, they've tailed off and, and, and are now only up about 80 points that last time I checked. So there's a, there's a whole lot of uh, theories out there. The, the Fed, based on those numbers, will probably start tapering sooner rather than later. But higher interest rates could mean slowing growth in the housing market uh, with a lot of people already not qualifying with this kind of, of, of jump. And so because of that, they may decide to postpone tapering. It'll be interesting to see what they do. Have a great Friday. Make it a great weekend, and we'll talk to you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.